So we potentially have a new 21 Pilots logo to discuss. This doesn't happen every single day, so I wanna talk about it with you guys and see what kind of symbolism we can grab from this new updated logo. Grab your popcorn, or at least in my case, uh, Celsius, because this is a deep dive. This is a deep dive of the new 21 Pilots logo, if it is uh, the, the one they stick with. And I wanted to talk about why this is the perfect logo to end out the Dima storyline. So maybe you're wondering, you know, where did we get this new 21 Pilots logo? go from. If you look at the last two social media posts, if you grab these two characters from the first post and these two characters from the second post, you get this. Admittedly, it looks a little funky to begin with and the asymmetrical design of it uh, doesn't, you know, click with my brain to start with, but if you look at it a little bit more closely, we can see some more deeper meanings. Also, I just wanted to dispel uh, one really quick thing. A lot of people are saying that these two forward slashes are used to separate the link from the caption of the text uh, within the post. I'm gonna say I really don't jive with that in my personal opinion. If you look at any of the other tour videos or any of the other links, they posted, they never used these two forward slashes uh, to separate the caption from a link. So I'm going to go ahead and say that these two forward slashes, um, that's not their intended use. They're not being used to separate the link from the caption. Okay, moving forward. So after coming to terms with that, uh, looking at this new 20 Pilots logo, despite the asymmetrical weirdness of it, a couple things start to become clear. One, it's a fusion between the blurry face logo and the trench logo. The first half of the logo is the blurry face logo with the single line, and then after the connecting line, we have the two forward slashes of the trench logo. Then I realized that this logo could quite literally be representing the two sides of your brain. We all know we have a left side of our brain, uh, which also is referenced and holding on to you. And then we have the right side of our brain. Let's take a look at what the left side and right side of our brains uh, control and what thoughts kind of originate from those sides. Looking at what the left side of our brain controls, we have number skills, math and science skills, written language, spoken language, objectivity, logic, and reasoning. But the main ones I want you guys to look at are number skills and math and science skills. On the right side of the brain, we have 3D shapes, music, art, awareness, intuition, creativity, imagination, emotion. So this is the kind of the contrast between these two sides of our brains. The main thing I want you guys to realize is that the left side of our brain controls math and science. Do you guys remember Nicholas Bourbaki? Uh, you know, the, the science and math group that supposedly is named after Blurryface and Blurryface's true name is Nicholas Bourbaki. The left side of our brain controls math and science. The left side of this new logo is representative of Blurry Face and the Blurry Face era. Blurry Face is Nicholas Borbaki, a math and science group. The left side of our brains is basically controlled by Blurry Face, is, is what I'm getting at. While the right side of our brains is where we're trying to get to, this is where creativity comes from. Do you guys remember the updated Trench Universe map that was uploaded last year alongside the outside music video? The map's orientation to start uh, is rotated so that east is up, you know, east is up. But if you rotate it so that north is true north, we have two sides of our brain. We have the left side, which is Dima, and the right side, which is Trench, where we're trying to get to, where we're escaping to. And if you look at it, this map starts to look like a brain, and it looks like it's divided by some kind of mountain range. Again, holding on to you is making a lot more sense now. We have the left side of the brain, which is controlled by Dima, and then the right side of the brain, which looks significantly larger, and this is where creativity is overflowing. And again, this is where Tyler and Josh and the Banditos are all trying to get to. We're trying to leave Trench behind behind to get to the right side brain. So if we can agree that the left side is controlled by Blurry Face and Nicholas Borbaki, then the right side is controlled by creativity. Moreover, the Blurry Face logo is representative of music that Tyler creates while under Blurry Face's control, and the Trench logo is representative of Tyler's brain as he's creating from a truly creative place. The new logo, the combination of the two, represents the perfect balance between the two. We need both to survive, truly. 
but finding a balance is key and essential. I said this on Twitter, but maybe this is why a lot of fans that didn't love Skilled and Icy said that it was a sterile album or glossy, poppy, you know, inoffensive. It was too clean of an album. It's created in a way using pop tropes to almost ensure its success to get to as many people as possible. This is because he produced the entire album under Dima's control. It's calculated, it's analytical. Nicholas Borbaki's hand was over the entire production of Scaled and Icy. And that just falls in line with the lore and also the sound of the album itself. Now going back to the new potential logo, it's the perfect balance between Blurry Face and Trench. Finding a balance between the two, creating an album with the best of both worlds. And I gotta say, I, I know I'm the purple era guy. Like I know a lot of people know me as the guy who wants a purple era next, even though purple isn't my favorite color, it just makes sense thematically. But if this new logo is correct, I can totally see an orange era. It's combining red and yellow, blurry face and trench, combining the two, finding the perfect balance and getting orange as a result. So what do you guys think? Am I a lunatic? Am I onto something? I also posted this entire Twitter thread. I'll link it in the description below if you'd rather read this whole synopsis but regardless let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always call somebody today whether that's a friend or a family member you may be saving their life this is jake with stolen potential and i will see you when i see you